Canadians, our exposure to people who use prosthetics is the playing field. The Paralympics, the Para Pan Am Games introduce Canadians to a host of athletes who use prosthetics with incredible dexterity and skill. But that does not happen overnight. Those first few steps are crucial. I'm at West Park Healthcare in Toronto. Today, I'm going to build a leg and lend a hand. I'm going to rehab. And this is Jan Walker. She is VP Strategy at West Park Healthcare Centre. Hello, Jan. How are you? Very well. And you? Thank you for having me here. This is a rehab facility, correct? It is. So if you find yourself mucked up, if you're in an accident and you're suddenly missing an arm or a leg or you're in a wheelchair or whatever, this is where you come to get fixed. Come to us to get your life back. That's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I'm going to get a life, thanks to Jan. <laughs> And this is Paul Hannes, and he is a prosthetic technician, correct, Paul? Yes, I am. Hello, Paul. Nice Good to meeting. see you. Nice lab you have here, Paul. Thank you. Thank what you. are you doing here, Paul? Uh, we are doing a uh, transtibial uh, lamination. Please translate. <laughs> Transtibial is a amputation below the knee. Okay, yes. all right. And this is this is a mold of an individual's, they don't use the word, well, they use the word stump, but those of us in the business, we use residual limbs. Yes, is that sir. correct? Yes. Pull it right over top. All that. Right. Yeah, all the way down. Yeah, oh, perfect. There we go. Perfect, do you hear that? That's good. We need a little bit to, uh, because we're gonna impregnate this with some resin, some liquid resin. No way. Yes way. Here we have. Resin, can you shake that up for me? Perfect. Oh, do some people get fun colors? Sure. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, they give them a fun color. It's like decorating a cake. Could you, like, put flames on it if they wanted? Absolutely. Do you do stuff like that? Sure. So we just let that dry, and then uh, we serve it yeah, hot in about 30 minutes. Hello, Patty. Now, Patty, what are you what are you rocking there? I'm rocking a microprocessor knee. Okay, so this is a robotic knee. This has got like a computer in it. Yes, yeah, right? so you got to plug it in like a phone every single night. Really? And hey? it keeps a three-day charge. That technology exists, a three-day charge? I know. My phone goes dead after about three hours. You were nine years without a leg? Yes, and I was on crutches for the last nine for years. For nine years you were on crutches because you couldn't afford a leg. Correct. And how did you get this leg? This was crowdfunded by neighbors. I started working. You're work kidding me. Yep. Have you walked your nine-year-old to school yet? I've walked them, my nine-year-old and my 11-year-old. Uh, and it was like Christmas Day for us. I bet. It was a huge, I'm going to start to cry, it was a huge dream for my entire family that wow. it came true. You can see now, before it never made sense, but you can see, this is what they call the foot. Somehow we gotta attach that to there, right? Well, do you have any tape? Is this a hair dryer? This is, well, yes, it's a pretty intense From hair dryer. The war? The heat is what makes this resin hard. Right. Ta-da! Can I take this home and put it on my mantelpiece? It's all yours. Can I? Yes, sir. Okay, Catherine, what is this we have here? This is a quantum hand. Yes, it is. It is. It's a myoelectric hand. A myoelectric hand. Yes. This is the future, isn't it? It is. This hand is actually controlled, think about this now, by your muscles. I met a guy once out in Alberta, and he had a whole arm uh -huh. that was controlled by this pec. Right. How are we connecting? Don't say Bluetooth or we'll be here all day. It is Bluetooth. <laughs> oh, my. Let's go to lunch. So let's try your open and your clothes. There you go. There you go. I'm getting it. You got the pinch grip. <laughs> when it feels like it's grasped something, it will stop. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Ow! Did that hurt? A little bit. I don't know my own strength. <laughs> Put it in crush mode. Okay. Kill mode. <laughs> What's kill mode? That mode. Yeah, right. Wouldn't that be something? How did he die exactly? <laughs> Back it up, he was doing what? He put the prosthetic hand on his neck and then waved at the lady. 
and his head popped off. Well, it's his own fault. Case dismissed. <laughs> it's a miracle! Hello. Yeah, I'm just in practice. I'm getting, getting the hang of it. There you go. The same order as last time, please. The medium pepperoni. And you get to do this every day. I Introduce get to do people this. to this technology. This is Are they as enthralled as I am? They are. And we are too. We love helping people get their lives back. It's a pleasure meeting with you. Pleasure meeting with you too. I can take this, right? <laughs> Just for the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>